Davin Butang is a binner. He survives off your waist, but he says he's making a difference. What, what I like to do is I like to try to focus on something and try to actually do something with my life instead of just having done absolutely nothing. It's a positive thing for the environment. Binning's still technically illegal and something people look down on, but the Binners program is trying to break through that stigma with the Binners hook. It makes it easier for both sides. For the residents, they don't have to worry about Binners going through all their stuff. And then it saves time for the binners not having to go through, through everything. They can just grab their recycling and put it in the thing. I guess. It's one of those steps. It's step forwards. Anna Godfrey started the Binners Project two years ago to help build a community in a lonely profession. It's a job that's extremely competitive, which uh, means that you're more isolated. Throughout the months that we met, they started to realize how helpful it is to connect. Realizing that the guy who lives next door entirely has the same issues. I think it's, it's kind of uh, helping them to just feel a bit more part of, of the group. Davin says the Binners project is successful because Anna doesn't just help the Binners, she listens to them. So usually you have, you know, the bosses have been like, oh sure, you but they just do their own, they have their own agenda. With these girls, with Anna and Gabby, they don't have their own agenda. They're there to help us and we're here to help them and it's a, it's a, symb it's a, it's a symbolic relationship. They're helping us, we're helping them, it's perfect. Without this relationship, the Binners hook would have just been a failed wooden box. We had this designer show it to us, and that's Binners, we're like, A, it looks like crap, and B, it's not really gonna work, like a little box that you're supposed to put, like, like it doesn't, we're like, no, no, no. And then finally we just kept brainstorming, and then finally other designers came in, and then finally they said, how about a hook that you can put bags on? And we were like, bang! So now we got the hook, right? Second problem was the name. And then people were like, well, what? Are we going to, like, hook her? <laughs> like, Let's call it Binner's Hook. Now we're the Binners and call it Binner's Hook. Anna says the hook's given Binner's a sense of routine and purpose. Before, Davin would drink and smoke outside the bottle depot waiting for cash. Now he has bigger goals. So one of my plans is that I would like to maybe move back to Winnipeg. I, I have to do it. I want to see my sister and I want to see her children. Like, I don't want to, I'm not going to have children on, on my own. I, I, can, I can barely support myself, right? Like, but I want to see her children, and then they've had the opportunity to grow up with their children. So that's why, if I could, with the Binners Project, if I could maybe learn more, get more educated, know that it is an actual successful project, I can maybe go to Winnipeg and maybe start a Binners Project in Winnipeg itself, and at least have something to do.